Yes, hello there from Sammamish, where a local high school senior has just returned from Washington, D.C., where she was a finalist in a rather prestigious math and science competition. Even more impressive that she returned the winner, first place. The only bad news is now she's in a different tax bracket. How does a teenager spend $250,000? the moment we've all been anticipating. The competition was hosted by Melissa Villasenor from Saturday Night Live. So you're starstruck, and then you hear your name called. East Lake High School in Sammamish, Washington, Christine Ye. I was so shocked to be, I guess, the top winner, especially because I'd met the other 39 finalists there, and they were all so brilliant, and all their research was so amazing. So it's the Regeneron Science Talent Search, and um, it's generally referred to as the nation's oldest and most pre prestigious science and math competition for high school seniors. So what exactly was your project? I, can, I guess I can say the whole scientific name, but I don't know if that would be that interesting. Test me. It's like inferring the neutron star maximum mass and the lower mass gap in spinning neutron star black hole systems. Boy, <laughs> Eastlake's come a long way since <laughs> I went here. Can you possibly explain this to a guy like me? Yeah, so in my project, I was using gravitational waves to study collisions between some of the most extreme objects in the universe. So I was looking at black holes, which are these things with gravity that's so strong that not even light can escape it, you know, hence the name black hole, and a neutron star, which is formed when a star collapses in on itself. And then imagine this, out in the universe, you have these objects, and they're actually orbiting and colliding into one another. You know, when you have these really, really um, massive and powerful objects colliding with each other, they actually shake up the whole universe in a way that we can detect here even billions of light years away. 